residencies in an academic context give us the opportunity to bring someone in whose work we're really interested in and really learn firsthand from people who are doing unique things, doing new things, have wonderful insights. When we welcome an artist into the School of Music community for an extended period of time, usually a week or two, and I find that there is a far richer understanding all around on behalf of the students. Through the Low Milk and Fun, we've been able to bring in a number of different artists and residents. Our first one was the composer by the name of Ofer Benamos. Ofer came to UCLA in 2018 and worked on some chamber music with a number of different string faculty in the Department of Music. He also was able to speak with music composition students and he gave a public lecture performance. He also put on a concert of a number of new works. Ofer Benamos is a very active composer who grew up in Israel, studied in Europe, has been in America teaching in Colorado for the better part of his career over the last 25 years, and really embeds that deep experience of his Israeli heritage, of his Jewish heritage, being in America in the various works that he does. Ofer Benamotz is just an amazing esteemed composer, and to have Ofer come in and do a master class with our students, give the students to work with a world-class composer who offered a perspective different than every other composers at that school. Thank you, amazing. And he's also been involved with the Milken Archive for more than 20 years. Being on the board of the Milken Archive was of tremendous importance to me. It opened the way for me to hear other composers who deal with the same kind of genre, the same kind of ideas about music. So I started learning about all that's out there. This was very powerful on me. We decided in 2018 to explore a concert that happened in 1938 at Carnegie Hall with Benny Goodman. Benny Goodman was known for being the first person at Carnegie Hall to put white and black musicians together. And this represents something different for us in Jewish music in that it's not the sound of Jewish music of something that comes out of a Jewish tradition, but rather a Jewish person, Benny Goodman, who grew up in Chicago. Lori Black found the New York-based clarinetist named Ken Poplowski who actually played earlier in his career with Benny Goodman. And what Ken Poplowski brought to our students were the charts of the music he played with Benny Goodman. So in some ways we were able to relive that 1938 program with someone who played with Benny Goodman. When we had Frank London come in for a residency, the students got the opportunity to jam with a Grammy-winning artist. When he was at UCLA, he had a, a really great project, which was to take some traditional Eastern European klezmer tunes, and he created arrangements of these tunes for the big band jazz ensemble and the klezmer ensemble to play together. Not only does Frank have his own amazing flavor of klezmer music and, and how he works with musics from all over the world. Frank is, is an incredibly versatile musician. He has a way of thinking about music that he forces students to think on the fly. At UCLA, I'm trying to broaden the experience of these players and I think in introducing the big band and the brass ensemble to these different traditions and to showing them the ways that there's a similarity to the language of the music that they're studying and how it's different. And I tried to do the same in the klezmer ensemble by opening them up to improvisation, which normally is not part of the klezmer tradition, but is part of the contemporary klezmer practice. These residencies are such a gift they really become a focal anchoring point of the quarter. 
Through the Lowell Milken Center for Music of American Jewish Experience, I see the residency program to be something we can work towards on a regular basis. We will always be looking for opportunities for our students to engage with the top artists in the field and the top scholars in the field, because that is the only way they will continue to develop.